wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best antenna splitters. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, the Axel 3-way adapter is an option for those who are looking for multiple splitters at a low cost. This type may help with certain complex installations, but its lack of integrated circuitry generally makes it much less reliable than more robust units. It comes in a 5-pack, however it does require an amp if reception is poor, and it can't be mounted. At number 9, the Channel Plus 2532 is a traditional bi-directional unit, which allows it to perform equally well as a combiner. Some will appreciate this versatility, but those who know they don't need this ability might prefer a more purpose-built model. It's very affordable, and a DC and IR passing version is also available, but its signal drop is more than some. Coming in at number 8 in our list, the GE two-way achieves a lower price than similar options by ditching features like power pass-through and slightly reducing its frequency range. Those who don't intend to amplify its input and aren't worried about losing a few channels may find it to be a great fit. It costs less than $5 and comes in a durable nickel-plated enclosure. However, it only handles up to 900 MHz. Our newest choices can only be seen at Wiki. Dot .easyvid.com Go there now and search for antenna splitters or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, the Antronix 2004H-A provides four outputs, but its lack of an integrated amplifier raises its signal drop to 7 decibels. This is certainly less than ideal, but those who have a very strong reception in the first place might find it meets their needs. It's corrosion resistant and comes with mounting screws and surge protection on all ports. Moving up our list to number 6. The Neotech coaxial splitter is good for those who have many televisions in their home. Having more outputs does increase the insertion loss across each port, but it's preferable to daisy chaining multiple units, which tends to reduce the signal strength even more. It's packaged with adapters and a cable, and an 8-way version is also available. However, it may require a separate amplifier. Halfway up our list at number 5. The GE Digital 2A comes from a company that's been involved in television for almost 100 years. It's not powered, but it's still a versatile device that could also be used to split things like satellite or modem signals if needed. It features a wide range of 5 to 2500 MHz, gold-plated ports that resist corrosion, and a lifetime warranty. At number 4, the BAMF coax cable splitter is slightly more expensive than some other passive models, but it makes up for this with desirable attributes like a low 3.5 decibel signal loss, a wide frequency range, and a durable nickel-plated housing. All the ports are power-passing for use with a separate amp, and the enclosure resists interference. It can also function as a combiner. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, the Antronix amplifier not only splits the output of your antenna, but also gives it a boost. This added circuitry increases its price compared to passive models, but it's great for catching weak TV broadcasts or minimizing quality loss over very long cables. It includes an integrated surge protector, short circuit protection, and a 5-year warranty. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for Antenna Splitters, or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, the Channel Master Ultra Mini 2 features a smooth white powder coating that offers a hint of style and extra protection for outdoor use. It's a good choice for connecting a roof-mounted aerial to two televisions with minimal harm to its reception. It comes with water-resistant sealed ports, an AC adapter that can use any F-type cable, and a 6-foot coaxial cord. And taking the top spot on our list, despite a wildly low price, the extreme high performance sacrifices very little. The only feature it lacks compared to some more expensive passive units is DC power passing, but otherwise it has all the desirable attributes for this type of device. It suffers from minimal insertion loss and the sealed connectors block moisture. It uses SMD circuitry to minimize its size. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for antenna splitters, 
or simply click beneath this video.